With Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. being injured all season, Nikola Jokic has carried Denver to the Western Conference's number six seed, becoming the first player ever to record 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. In a double-digit win over the Memphis Grizzlies at Ball Arena, this video shows you how the headbanded Joker dropped 36, 16, and 6 to go along with a block and four steals. Sombor shuffling in the mile high to the tune of a near 50-win season. Stick around to see why Nikola's individual impact on the Nuggets defines most valuable player and how the 27-year-old Serbian just stole his second straight MVP trophy. Right before that, 90.8% of you watching right now aren't subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. In April, the Jokers averaged 38 points, 18 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2.5 and steals per game on 62% shooting from the field. It may not always look pretty, but what makes Nikola Jokic's game so special is how he can stay poised under heavy traffic and then mercilessly fight to his hot spot with his strength and footwork. After using a cross screen set by the rookie sensation Busy Bones Highland, Jokic gains momentum by circling out to the perimeter and catching the pass from Austin Rivers in stride, but even after the Joker tries a moving behind the back, Steven Adams stays right with him, forcing Nikola to lose the ball. Despite that, Jokic calmly dribbles over to the weak side with his offhand, falling away directly in the Kiwi's grill. Next, after a smitty move with his guard-like handle, watch the strength to bump off Adams, followed by the IQ to pump fake and get two defenders in the air, and most impressively, the body control to swoop around for the wide open lay-in, which he misses, but he stays with his shot for the beastly tip-in. From drives to the basket leading to pinpoint lob passes or patented spin moves in the lane where he can finish over defenders with his near 9.5 foot release point, Nikola then has the offensive versatility to find teammates with bullet passes after drawing double teams, along with act as the classic roll man in pick and roll scenarios. Plays like this one where he catches a floater pass, looks to the corner to freeze the defense and embraces the contact from the underbuilt rookie Zaire Williams for the and one displays Jokic's unique ability to dominate with both his playmaking IQ plus polished and overpowering finishing ability. After a patented one-legged leaning back post fadeaway from around the arc, also known as a Sambor shuffle, this take through two Grizzlies players and kick out to the corner is a play that won't make the highlight reels, but it just goes to show how no defensive game plan has a clue what the Serbian's about to do on any given possession. That 36 point and 16 rebound showing wasn't quite a triple double, but in terms of those, Jokic is only three shy of surpassing Wilt Chamberlain for the all time mark among centers. Over a seven game span recently, Jokic averaged 33.1 points, 14.4 boards, 7.7 .7 dimes, 2.1 steals on 70.6% shooting from the field. Point is, no one scored more points on 70% shooting over a seven game span throughout the 75 year history of the NBA. After securing his first MVP trophy in 2021, the Jokers again showed why he's the clear front runner to win the award for a second consecutive year in 2022. Denver's been missing their second option, Jamal Murray with an ACL tear for the entire year and third score, Michael Porter Jr. for most of the season, MPJ is recovering from surgery on his back. Despite all that adversity, the one constant for Mike Malone's team has been the ridiculous output from Jokic. Not only did Nikola play better this year than he did during his MVP season, but he's turned up his value so much to the point where Denver's won more games than Vegas predicted they'd win before the year kicked off, and that prediction was under the assumption that Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray would of course both been healthy. That didn't come close to happening though. Thursday night's W for Denver over Memphis, in which Jokic tore apart the second-seeded Grizzlies defense, helped secure Denver its 48th victory of the year, and it also clinched the Mile High City a top six seed in the Western Conference standings, entering the playoffs. With all due respect to Joel Embiid or Giannis Antetokounmpo, bottom line is, if the trophy actually rewards the quote-unquote most valuable player, Jokic has to take home the award this year, and here's why. If you're trying to argue that Giannis and Joel are leading their teams to higher seeds, realistically Philadelphia and Milwaukee have only won one or two more games than Denver this season, and the process and the freak 
both have a much better supporting cast around them. Conversely, if you take away Jokic from Malone's system, who knows how many W's Denver would be at this season, but you can say for sure that it wouldn't be anywhere near 48. As the greatest playmaking five-man of all time, it's not just what Nicole is capable of doing himself, but it's how he positively impacts the game for everyone around him, regardless of their reputation or playing experience. Nicola's done more with less this year in comparison to last, and somehow found a way to improve as a player, which feels hard to fathom after the year he put together in 2021. Overall this season, Jokic is averaging career highs in points at 27.1, rebounds 13.7, and his 7.9 assists per game are just off his career high of 8.3. He's no longer a non-functional defensive player, and if anything, he's been a big-time impact player on that end all season long. Just like when he broke my heart as a Raptors fan when he blocked OG Ananobi to win the game right here. The Joker's 1.5 steals and .9 blocks per game are both a career high, as Jokic's quick rotations, shot contests, and all-around hustle has been very impressive. It's mind-boggling when you actually take into perspective what Jokic has achieved for Denver throughout every one of the 74 games he's competed in. Nikola hasn't got worn down despite carrying the load all year. The man doesn't mind playing on back-to-backs or the fourth game in five nights, which is something that can't be said for a lot of today's superstars. The other candidates for MVP are elite-level talents, and there's certainly a case for them, but Jokic's play and the Nuggets record does all the talking, and the Joker's current odds on FanDuel suggest he's on pace to take home back-to-back -back league MVPs. If he does, Jokic will be the 13th player in NBA history to win the award in back-to-back -back seasons. Adetokounmpo was last to do so back in 2020, as Jokic would join him alongside Steph Curry, LeBron James, Steve Nash, Tim Duncan, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Moses Malone, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, and Bill Russell. Some damn good company for Jokic right there. The man continues to set records by the day. So, in your opinion, is Nikola Jokic the 2022 MVP? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shoutout. Top 5 commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise this summer. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Ona Ebodaga, who says, I do believe Rob needs to go. The roster was poorly constructed around the Lakers' two superstars, and now playoff contention is out of the question this year. The trade that sent Russ to LA is now looked at one of the worst trades in the history of the franchise because Rob prioritized big names over fit. Appreciate every answer. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.